All right, Vinny. We're going home. This is starting to get expensive. And I gotta be honest with you, it made me a little nervous. Um, they said your numbers weren't terrible, terrible. And something like a 30% chance that uh, you could grow out of it. You gotta stick to a real real structure 12 hours apart between the shots each day which you know timeliness is not my greatest uh, deal <laughs> told me to get some Cairo syrup in case you start going bananas or something rub that on your gums which is like oh great because I don't know, it just makes me nervous. <laughs> I'm really hoping that the, the food does it. I'll be on the phone with some for some advice here soon. And this is obviously on YouTube, so if anybody's got advice for me, I gotta come back in about a week. Five or six days, I think they gave me an appointment. Check how you're doing. Told me on the phone, because you can't go in anywhere. You can't get good instructions in person. But shave two patches on your back for me to use as a guide since your hair is dark which kind of helps he said use one in the morning one in the evening kind of deal so I haven't seen you yet because you're still in the can't see your back you're probably getting mad at me it's not my fault dude they told me it wasn't my fault for feeding you but if your numbers are low, hopefully mean that we caught it early and you might be one of those guys that makes it through this without too much difficulty. Yeah. I'm not thrilled about having to give him a shot every day, honestly. And then the idea of him freaking out and me having to throw syrup on his mouth. Jesus. But that's all I got. You got your first shot. I'll start you in the morning. And again, that is, is so tough for me. I am not a structured person. I am not. I sleep weird hours. I'm going to have to start setting alarms to make sure that I, I feed you on or give you your shot on time and feed you. But you're going to be fine. Don't freak out. <laughs> One of us has to not freak out. When people are sick, I'm not good at that. But you're not sick, you just got the sugar. It'll all work out. Alright, that's enough of this. So we did it, Ben. We gave you your first shot. Yeah, I'm going to tell the people. So, it was weird because, you know, with all this lockdown, I took them to the vet, but I couldn't go inside. And they shaved a spot here and a spot down here where to give him his injection. And I thought, man, that's pretty far down because I always thought you're supposed to do it up here. It was a helpful idea from the vet so that I could see the needle go in. And that's the needle. Real thin. When I tried to give him a shot, you just, you can't get enough skin right there. So I did his shot up higher. I'm just going to exchange sides. It would have been nice if they'd have shaved in a spot where I could see, but then... After doing it, I just felt around. And it went in, didn't it, Vin? And there was no blood. And you didn't care, because I had just fed you. So hopefully... I'm, I'm trying to be overly optimistic, but... He's been on the, the better food, the prescription food, for a couple days now. And his pee seems better already, so... They said 30 to 40% of cats his age won't have to stay on... Uh, insulin so let's hope he's one of those and i think i already said it in a video the vet said uh yeah you don't need to be taking any rv trips for a while you need to make sure that he stays cool the the i also said this but i'm gonna say it again they had said to get some kiro syrup in case he like has a bad reaction you know if sugar goes too low or whatever if he starts like like acting like he's having a seizure i don't have any of that right now but i have some uh maple syrup <laughs> so i figured if that's not sweet enough i don't know what is but you did good Vinny. you didn't really fight me 
and it's awkward. I remember back when I was trying to do the dog, but Vinny just laid there. He didn't fight me like the dog did. <laughs> so yay, you're on your road to recovery, buddy. All right, everybody out there, have a great and wonderful day. Stay safe. So, and if any Each day he gets a little better. Two hoses, two nozzles, one great deal. Vinny, you're getting back to normal. Give me your mouse. You ready? Give me your mouse. <laughs> Good catch. Ow. Half the time you just knock it down. Good catch. Give me some credit for the throw. Is right there. You didn't even have to move. <laughs> this is only the third day of shots. I've given, what have I given? Five shots now, Vin? Uh, a couple good things is it's got me back on a normal sleep schedule because he's got to get them 12 hours apart when he eats. So right now it's 8 and 8. And he's doing well. I honestly, I already see a change. His pee's gotten better. It gives me hope this this might not be a forever thing with him, right, Ben? Yeah. And you were playing. You were you're good. I know. And then down there, Keek, Keek. I think Kiki's been a little jealous because Vinny's been getting more attention lately. Yeah, a little bit more attention. Yeah. We got to get him healthy, Keek, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you good? Yeah. She's good, Vin. You're doing more gooder. Said wrong on purpose. You have to go... Today is Saturday. We have to go back to the vet on Monday. About the middle of your day between shots to get you rechecked see how they're doing if you need an increase i got a feeling you won't and i uh, and i'm holding on to that hope dude that you might get off the insulin here pretty soon maybe keek he could get off it <laughs> but whatever it takes and i'm also gonna throw in uh vinny was the boomerang cat I uh, rescued him for somebody else, and then they gave him back. And being 100% honest, at this point, I'm so happy that they gave him back because I know he's getting the care that he needs, and I can't guarantee you that that would have happened at his other home. Right, Vin? Now we'll just see if the vet says one of these days, if corona subsides a little bit, if, if you can go uh, RVing. So, so so far, so good. So far, so good, Keek. You all right? Yeah, you care. <laughs> all right, YouTubers, there's an update. Vinny's doing good. Still missing that ear. You miss that ear? Or do you miss being able to pee like a normal cat? Vinny, you're playing again. You haven't played for a couple days. <laughs> This is his favorite. It's got catnip in it. Go get it. We're running around. I grab the camera. And of course, that makes you stop. Neighbors are mowing, dude. Even though it's like 40 degrees outside. If I catch him running around, I'll show you. Vinny, are you starting to think I'm stalking you? <laughs> I walk around checking on him more than normal. Just gotta make sure you're right. There's your expensive food. Eat that. He's playing again. It's hard to catch him. <laughs> Get it, Vin. Someone asked, so here's kitten pictures. Uh, this is Kiki's mother, and the father was orange. When my ex showed me the pictures, I didn't understand why. But she turned out cute. We ended up just wanting one, 
but he talked her into buying both of them. So that's little Kiki. That's a cat that did not like little Kiki. That's still the way she lays. And if I ever open up a ladder, this was an eight foot ladder. She's always got to get right on top. And if you leave a dryer open, you got dryer kitty. Did not like being in cages. Did like the snow. And this is a little bit more recent. If you ever get a tub out, there's a cat watching TV. Happy, I think. She has always liked going outside because she likes hunting. This next picture is probably how we're all starting to feel with this lockdown. But she's chilling there. I talked about the old dog I gave shot. That's back in Colorado. And my Mustang. I miss my Mustang. And the boat and the jet ski and all the cool toys I had. This was the boat that was bigger than the Suburban I used to pull it. Though so I do listen to comments. Hope you enjoyed. Alright, Benny. You've been back in the uh, carrier for a little bit. It is Monday. May 11th, I swear to you, I can tell a big change. I think he's doing much, much better. Right, Ben? But we're gonna go get him checked out, see if they need to make any adjustments to the insulin. I wrote another note to give to the vet tech to take in because again, you can't go inside. And I am hoping that we can get him off of insulin. I've got another video started and I'll hopefully add this and get it out tonight because there's a lot of great and wonderful people that have been so helpful in the last video when I, you know, said that, yeah, I got a diabetic one-eared cat. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate that help so much. And what seems like actual true concern for this little idiot got cold in Ohio it's in the low 40s <laughs> it's just so weird I guess part of the reason my hope is I'll tie it into what this channel is supposed to be about is RVing and the vet and probably wisely um, told me to avoid any traveling and I think I'm at least a couple weeks from doing that anyways but I'd be so happy to be able to control him without the insulin and be able to control his problems with food because I think RVing with a diabetic cat would probably just be a little bit more of a pain not like end of days or nothing like that but just just a little bit more of a pain as I said it, it has forced me to get on a schedule I've done pretty well but like alarms going off all the time so I can get him a shot and again I record these over a few days and I never remember what I say but he's been handling it really well I think I had one where he made a little huh, but other than that he just sits there so um, that's it for now all right youtubers I gotta say this is my defense of people but I'm really glad I don't smoke anymore out here waiting on Vinny to go in and get double checked and uh car next to me the car next to me they're smoking with the windows just barely cracked it smells terrible i know i used to smell that way too but that was many years ago all right vin you're gonna be fine i'm gonna get you off the shots everything's gonna be wonderful keep your paws crossed all right Vinny. as we had hoped you're doing better they said they want to I'm gonna come back in a week or so and double check you again see how the levels are going but definite improvement after four and a half days of shots and six days on the better food his sugar has dropped by 140 points great start and your stuff from chewy finally came in you're gonna get some new wet food today <laughs> that's not cheap but all those in YouTube land again, thanks very much for all the people that took the time to say something nice and to offer encouragement and advice. Much appreciated. Um, it's real tough here when you're not able to go inside. I said the vet was gonna call me, but that didn't happen. And I, I'd written a note with a couple questions and I didn't get an answer. And when I asked the nurse who brought him back out, I really didn't get an answer so if anybody out there knows um, 
I've done great so far on staying on schedule, but you know, I have a concern if, you know, I go somewhere and what if I miss his injection time by a couple, three hours, you know, I'm doing them at eight at eight, but what if something happens, you know, and I'm late, do I just skip it or, and start the next time? I guess I'll have to do some research and I know a couple people that should know. It's just, uh, it's just tough. So Benny is doing much better. He's a good boy. And hopefully that will continue. So I will get this video posted and I will again thank everybody for the kind words. And with the coronavirus, please wear masks. I know there's a lot of people that think, eh, just, just wear a mask. It's just showing other people you might give a shit about them. You know, get around people, throw a mask on. It's not that big a deal. And more importantly, stay safe and have a great and wonderful day. Vinny also hopes you enjoyed his trials and tribulations.